Hey, my friends, it's your friend Kevin. I'm here with my friend Freddy the Teddy and Patrick the Bear and those fairies in the corner. This is your divine inspiration message for today. So before I get to today's information and the numbers, I have to make a correction on yesterday's video the one that's before this, I had got confused as to where the moon was. Where is it? One, but the other, well, realized this morning when I came to print off and read the September 23rd Joanna Pantasy's uh, Starlit Wisdom pamphlet, I pulled up what I did yesterday to tie them together, and then I noticed, oh, I was reading from September 6, 2024. The interesting part about it was the affirmations of yesterday and today were very, very similar, even though we had close to two weeks between. The astrological insight was the moon was in Libra. Well, um, Yasmin Boland said the moon was somewhere else. I think she said it was in Pisces. So my, all that to say, I'm sorry. I got it wrong. But what I also realized was as I pulled more of September 22nd, which was yesterday's Starlet Wisdom, there was a ritual. There was a guided meditation, which I'm going to record later, put some music underneath it and make it available if I'm able to do it. Um, and that was beautiful, amazing. All that to say, had I been paying attention, had I been doing a little more, it would have been revealed to me. So I like to come clean sometimes when things are a little off. It's the inquiry part. Now, most people fly into, and I have been one that did this. That's wrong. I got it wrong. I beat myself up. Oh my God, how could I have gone public with all that information? Blah, 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 blah. I don't know how that serves anyone. However, I do believe if there has been a misstep, you can go back and re-step it, redo it, almost hold your hand up to it. Be okay, this happened, and I'm going to make a correction. So there you go. Moving on to today, we have a 22 Angel Numerology Day. So what does that mean for all of us? It means it's got the power of a number four. Because two and two reduces to four. However, because it's a double number and we only have two of them with angel numerology, 11, which is spiritual blessings, and 22, which is the angelic influences amplified. This carries all the characteristics of a four. And it's literally about... Um, saying that anything and everything is possible and you can accomplish it all. The 22 energy is about being mega practical and amplifying your plans. There's nothing to fret about, nothing to worry about. This energy brings about it that all forms of communication are favored and it's highly likely that there will be plenty of physical and spiritual help available. So take advantage of it. If you're into tarot and you have a tarot deck, pull the magician and pull the king of swords or the king of air if you've got one of Radley's decks. You can also bring in the energy of Archangel Raziel, who is the one who writes and keeps the secrets of God. Archangel Raguel that brings the balance and the justice and making sure that any problems, contractual issues, disagreements are brought into harmony. Disagreements with other people is more Shamuel's business because he's like the friendship of God. Uh, this also works with the astrological elements of Taurus and Gemini. So there you have that. Now, reading from Raz. Yasmin Boland's uh, moon sign for today. The energies between now and the end of this month, which is just another week, are mostly positive. So do yourself a favor. 
as much as you possibly can. Allow yourself to just be. To just be. Avoid any unnecessary busybodiness. Like, get out of drama. Get out of these discord, disagreements, whatever you want to call them. All right, moving right along. I release all negative thoughts about the past and the and all worries about the future. See this person, she looks like she's got a dandelion flower and she's blowing all the little, I call those little fairies she's blowing in the wind. Why worry about something that hasn't happened yet when you can just as easily choose to believe that everything will be will work out, which is the 22 day. There's, there's that. It's from the Happier Me Affirmation Deck by Aramond. We have Bridget, the inner fire. She is our master of the week. Now, Bridget, bless her heart, is highly driven. She's encouraging us to do the same, being passionate, uh, being with the ability to make great changes in our lives and be in that flow, ride that surfboard or that skateboard or that whatever you want to call it um, of um, the changes in the world. Just ride it. Follow what lights you up. This is about lighting up the spiritual fire. Now, Bridget is typically here during the big springtime. However, we just went through the autumnal equinox yesterday. So this is likely why she's showing up. Um, she's coming because it might feel as though your life's changing a little bit too quick and the ground might feel a bit unsteady. Trust that it is best to change when change is unfolding. In other words, as you notice the changes that are happening, the, 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 as you see it, be okay with what's going to happen is going to be for your highest good. In fact, you could make those affirmations. This is a powerful time for beginning anything new. The, the seeds that have, are the ideas, the, the things you did during the summer, your dreams and your wishes and all of this, these have opportunities to start growing roots. So trust your passions and don't let the limiting beliefs of doubt and of others project you into letting your fears get a hold of you. Because let me tell you something, the universe pays attention to all of it. So if you're, you know, if you've got those folks that are influencing you to fear, I got a little thing about fear. It makes money for some people. Like I was telling somebody with um, tongue in cheek was like, if I told you that you needed to mix up this potion and put it on your hair to make it grow thick and luxurious, you would buy it. Even though you don't know that that's really what will happen. I don't have that kind of stuff, so don't worry. But I'm just using that as an example. My isms. I have a wonderful work in a wonderful way. I give wonderful services for a wonderful pay. This comes from Florence Scoville Shin. The other one is, I am an instrument of loving healing. This I know myself to be. These are like little rhymes you could say all day long. I'm an instrument of loving healing. This I know myself to be. Na, 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 na. <laughs> I am perfection unfolding. You know, without mud, you can't get a lotus blossom. Doesn't happen. So there you go. We are using Angel Wisdom Tarot. But before we get there, I'm going to read what Joanna Pantazes wrote for September 23rd, 2024. Deepening connection, she says. The affirmation, I open my heart to deep transformative connections and embrace the mysteries of love. Ooh. Today, the astrological insights is that Venus walks right into Scorpio. It stirs up your deeper notions. It intensifies your relationships. The Scorpion energy brings a desire for deeper intimacy and connection, prompting you to explore your relationships on a profound level. This is a wonderful time to deepen bonds with those you love 
and explore the hidden layers of your emotional landscape. Allow yourself to be vulnerable and authentic and embrace the, tra the transformative power of true intimacy. If you're into tarot, pull the lover's card. And the message from the lover's card signifies union, harmony, choices in love. It encourages you to seek harmony in all your relationships. Make choices that align with your deepest value. Now, if you like to pull your own tarot card, ask this question. How can I deepen my connections with those I love today? That's if you don't already know. Her suggested ritual is a heart chakra opening. For this one, she asks us to light a pink and a green candle. If you go to Friday's video, I talk about a bowl of water and some colored tissue paper or whatever paper you got to bring in those colors. But I don't think it's difficult to find pink or green candles. Sit comfortably, close your eyes and place your hands over your heart. Take a big death breath into your heart space. Imagine the soft green light growing from within your heart space. And then with each breath, feel this light expanding outward, upward, downward, from side to side and front to back. Fill your chest with warmth and compassion and then repeat the affirmation. I am open to deep transformative, transformative connections. I am open to deep transformative connections. I am open to deep transformative connections. And then allow this energy to flow from your heart and all the way to the hearts of those you love. This will strengthen your bond. You can reflect on this if you want. You can ask the question, the inquiry, what does a deep, meaningful connection look like to me and how can I nurture it in my life? Let's get to our card of the day, Wisdom. Now, this is going to be a bit surprising because Gertrude and Beatrice are in a graveyard. <laughs> Seriously, they are. And I'm asking you two fairies, why are you in a graveyard? And they're saying, basically, you, are, should, be, you should have already mourned the death of what doesn't serve you anymore. <gasps> uh, they're talking about the bones of, you know, bad attitudes, bad habits. They're talking about that, not people. No, Beatrice is saying no. And she was reluctant to come. <laughs> she was reluctant to come into and show us the cemetery because she felt like her huh. uh but gertrude just it just encouraged her to say you know this is what people have to say goodbye to they've got to unleash themselves from these um anchors these stones these these you know the people that they love and they care about that they may be symbols of the graveyard they're not really there their spirits are living living it up in spirit world that's what that's what gertrude said and i kind of have to agree so there you go um all right i'm shuffling ladies what do you want me to do what do you want me to do one more time pick from the top all right well good enough yes okay got it thank you thank you thank you all right here we go look at this <laughs> that is where your focus should be right now it goes along with your inner fire look at this let your passions heal you and lead you on your purpose. This is it's all go. That's the moon. Those rockets of desire. The 4th of July fireworks. The eight of fire. Number eight being an infinite number, an abundant number, a number of woo woo. Here we go. It's Metatron. And it works with a major arcana number two of seven. Too much going on. Stress caused by many positive opportunities, unexpected events, rapid changes, the ability to multitask, business travel. Now, basically, you could say, oh, my goodness, if I have to take anything else on, I'll go mad. No, it's OK. It's fine. It's all good. What I believe, and I'm going to come over to this camera so I can face you. What I believe, what I think, what I feel is that when we do feel like everything's coming at us at once, we've got the power to sort that out. 
I, I used to use an analogy that when people talked about, I'm so stressed out, I've got so much stress going on, and a lot, a lot, a lot of the work stress kept coming up. And I would get folks in the yoga classes when they were in those poses so that open up your hips, which is pushing out your emotions. Listen, <laughs> you're the ones that went around the grocery store putting the stress in your basket. All the stress that you're feeling, all the things that are being bombarded at you are things that you can control. And you, know, you, could, you get the, yeah, but, 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 see, there you go with this. The universe doesn't quite know what to do. To do. The other night I was on uh, a call or as a guest host in uh, John Mother's Head Angel 365. And I talked to somebody about being in one of those revolving doors as you go into a building or a hotel. And it's, it's equating to you get stuck in the thing and you're going around in circles and you can't quite get this to stop so you can push out into where you got to go. It's okay. However, use Archangel Metatron, which is what the M-E means right there. All right, you're moving me forward at great warp speed. Now I want to learn how to balance the priorities. I'll say that again. Ask your spirit guides, your angels, the, the creator, show me how to prioritize all of this, what to do with all of this. The changes are going to happen. They're just going to come along. They've been doing this your whole life. We either react or respond. That's it. It's the 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 blabbing <laughs> the blubbing and the blabbing is okay to do that because that's like i like that as being sorting through the stuff you know how people go uh, gold panning and they get one of these big round things that have a mesh in the bottom and they shake this thing and some stuff drops to the bottom and what leads to stay goes on the top there's gold even though there's all this going on but it does take some discipline it takes some practice you can say, why am I so obsessed by this? You can say, why am I worried about this? What can I do about this? You know, most of us, our thoughts live somewhere that happened and something we think might happen. We very seldom stay right here. That's why I love not really doing too much preparation before I sit here in the mornings and go, bloop, off we go. Here it happens. In the moment, right here, right now. And with that said, I'm going to let you go and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much. Lots of love. Bye for now. Hey, everybody. We hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with all your friends. Uh, here's a QR code if you decide you'd like to get a private personal reading with me. I'm available most evenings and on the weekends. Just go over to the website book in what session 30 minutes 60 minutes uh, and then fill in the contact information and i'll be back in touch and if you feel kind enough here is a link to my donation button energy exchange of any amount is always gratefully received until next time be well be blessed and thanks so much for watching bye